Welcome back to another Gallery Girls Recap. I am Greg Seals from Hypervocal. I am joined, as always, by the lovely Amelia from The Frisky. Time for Miami Part 2. I know. I had a lot of, like, excitement about this episode. Really amped? And I don't know. I just felt like they did not deliver. I totally agree. I feel like it fell totally flat, especially compared to Miami Part 1. We opened up on... Amy is like the she has taken on this pet project of the end of century pop up and Angela's photography. She spent two thousand dollars. I think she spent more than two thousand dollars. Well, that's the amazing thing. She called them up and she's like, "FYI, guys, I bought us a space, two thousand dollars of her own money, which she considered an investment." (laughs) I rewatched the episode and there was not a single thank you said. I'm no, not one, not one thank you, not. One the amazing thing is the second they got off the phone with Amy after she had told them she spent two thousand dollars of her own money on their stupid pop up, they proceeded to immediately start sort of like smack talking her. Chantal said she needs to be checked into the loony bin. Yeah, and then there was Liz. 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 My favorite line of Liz is this episode is when she declared, "I love glitter." That's the most profound thing that anyone has said about art on this show. By far. <laughs> Liz was on her high horse. Majorly. Yes. So she was was on two high horses. Yeah. Liz is like the most self righteous former drug addict I've ever seen in my life. She She like got off the coke and now she's like, you drink too much. Like everybody's an alcoholic in her world. (laughs) And like she so looks down on them too. I'm like, you know, like she's got like a sleeve full of tattoos she probably doesn't even remember getting. She was so high. She's above it all now. You would think she'd be a little bit more compassionate. Liz should star in an Above the Influence campaign. <laughs> where she just is like, she's, she's just like, I can't fucking deal with you people. And she yeah. storms out. Once, last week I was talking about how she has like, she talks like out of one side of her mouth like this, like a little Drew Barrymore. But it occurred to me as she was talking last night that she reminds me far more of Mary Jo Botafuco, who was famously shot by Amy Fisher in the face. Do you think? So she had the like one part of her mouth that was frozen. It, they did come together, the end yeah. of Century Girls and Liz and Maggie. They went to the club. But then there was like a little bit of like a peace treaty happening there. Yep. Like sort of flew the white flag of peace. But at the same time, I love that Chantal cannot ever apologize. She said, I'm sorry we made you feel that way. Not I'm sorry we were assholes. Chantal asked Liz, do you like silver or rose gold? Yeah. <laughs> like the UN peace treaty. Like I know, we, if we only a... Israel and Palestine could come to an agreement on that, then all their troubles would fade away. Silver or rose gold, that's, yeah. that is what is not happening I in the know. West Bank. Let's... In this end of century pop-up, no one comes. <laughs> Nobody comes, which was kind of like amazing on one hand. I didn't want anybody to come because I wanted to stick it to the EOC girls. At the same time, I really wanted people to come just to prove that Amy could, like, get shit done. Claudia is very aware of how evil Chantal is. That's the best part. It's like, it's like Claudia's finally starting to, like, reveal the fact that she's aware that, like, Chantal is a sociopath. She said last, I think she said last night, I think she would pour a bucket of pig's blood on me. Like, she might as well just said that Chantal will kill your cat, like I've always been saying. Chantal is a creature from the movie Splice. I yes. we I will cut this footage into this this video recap. It's nice to have a pet. Oh my god! Finally figured out where Chantal came from. <laughs> Evil that potent can only be made by science. Yeah. <laughs> so she came out of a lab. That's all. That's um, all we know. After Maggie like comes down off her bath salt tie, her and her boyfriend, yeah. who I feel like he he's like this big muscly guy. And I feel like he has to watch MMA, like yeah. UFC fighting when they're fucking just to stay hard. Yeah. <laughs> totally. So true. We contemplated that Maggie and her boyfriend might be a juggalo and juggalette couple. It's actually, I think it's your, it's actually very possible. Like, like juggalettes and juggalos walk amongst us and we don't even know it. They, poor Amy, after all of like her, like poor showing at the EOC pop-up, then Amy gets called into like the house by her dad and her dad breaks the news. Dad. He tells her that they've sold the old lady apartment in New York that she lives in and that she's going to have to figure something out. Can she actually make a job? 
This is how Girls begins. This is the opening scene from Girls. It really is. It really is. I'm, Amy is not getting cut off in the least. Yeah, no. <laughs> she was like, well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I love when I could have said that to my parents when I was 23. I'm like, don't worry, Mom and Dad, we'll figure it out. You know, and... Carrie was in this episode, but no, who... I don't care. Nobody cares about Carrie. Like, Car Carrie's lovely, I'm sure, but she's so, like, something rough around the edges about She her. must give a, a pretty tough hand... Uh, the toughest hand job. Yeah. Like she, a there's something about her that, Yeah, there's something about her that does seem like... <clears throat> Just dry and tough, and she's taking out all that aggression because she has to work two jobs. Yeah. <laughs> I wish they would just go ahead and reveal that she's really a lady of the night, and that's how she affords her suite. How with else the is she paying for that nice West Village? It's the season finale. It is coming up. My heart is already hurting. No, I'm so sad. I will join you next week to cry and to recap the final episode of Gallery Girls. Yeah. Thank you so okay. much, Amelia. Thank you.